everyone, welcome to the U.S. Open Health Desk presented to you by Mount Sinai Medical Center. I am your host, Shauna Ryan, and joining me today is Dr. Darwin Chen, Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital in the Lenny and Peter W. May Department of Orthopedics. Dr. Chen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Shauna. Thanks for having me. You know, when it comes to joints, especially for tennis players, arthritis is a real concern. What actually is arthritis? Well, arthritis can develop for many reasons. Uh, it, it, it spans uh, over a hundred different forms. In its uh, essence, it's wear and tear of the joints. It can also happen from injuries and illnesses and, and fractures and things like that. It can also happen as a part of an immune response where the body essentially attacks its own joints. Does arthritis only affect the elderly or is that a common misconception with the young? Absolutely common misconception. Actually, two-thirds of patients who suffer from arthritis are actually under the age of 65. Is there anything that you can do to help prevent arthritis or joint injury? Well, the, the fitter you are, the more strong your muscles, ligaments, and tendons are, which will protect the joint and help increase the function and, and decrease the wear over the long term. I think weight loss also plays a big part of it. The heavier you are up top, the more weight and load you're putting across the joint, which may impact the long-term longevity of the joint. And in terms of supplements, is there anything that you recommend people take to help with arthritic pain? Sure. Well, a lot of patients come in to see me, they're taking chondroitin and, and uh, glucosamine, which uh, can help, but unfortunately there's never been uh, proven a, a definitive scientific data or evidence that, that supports its use, although it has very limited uh, downsides. So I, by all means, I encourage my patients to take all of the, the benefit maybe of limited uh, of use. Until next time, we'll see you here on the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai.